Funk, Basis AI is a very young company, five months old, and you guys have already attracted over 15 high quality data scientists and engineers to come work for you. We've seen young companies really struggle uh, to find engineering talent at this early of a stage. What's your secret sauce? It's always hard to hire good talent, good engineers, but I think for us, it's about articulating a kind of value proposition. I think for startups, it's uh, obviously there's risk, but there's also a lot of opportunity for growth. So for young, uh, aspiring, kind of ambitious engineers, um, I, th I think it's a great fit for them, and then you really need to try and sell that uh, to them as well as your, your vision. One of the things I've noticed about Basis AI is that you have a very strong engineering-led culture, and I'm sure that's uh, a big attraction for young engineers to want to come and work at an, at an early stage startup. How would you describe your culture? I think it comes from the very top. I think uh, whether you're technical or non-technical within the company, uh, that respect is really important. So, you know, I'm the least technical person in the organization, but I like to, to kind of involve engineers in the non-technical aspects because they shouldn't just be doing the technical stuff, right? Um, and in one-on-ones, I talk to them about kind of sales, about business strategy, and, and it's fair game for them to ask these questions. And I think that's, for me, super important to involve engineers in other non-technical aspects. Mm. And then conversely, you know, if you're non-technical, it's not an excuse not to get down in the weeds and try best. So we've got weekly demos where the engineers talk about the coolest uh, uh, tech and technology they've been working on. So I've learned about uh, how Terraform works and what scalar monads are. If you don't know, you're going to go and uh, read up about it. But I think having those kind of conversations with respect is, is really important. And I'm sure this sense of ownership is what drives people from, you know, really all over the world to want to come and work uh, at companies like Basis AI mm -hmm. in Singapore. And we've seen Singapore and Southeast Asia emerge as a bit of a tech hub. And you guys are doing a very good job of attracting those type of people here. Mm -hmm. How does that work and where do you think the tech ecosystem in our part of the world is going to be in the next few years? Yeah, I think it's changing in, in Singapore. I think the startup scene is getting a lot more vibrant. Uh, some of the tech companies, big tech companies are setting up engineering hubs here. And I've heard from some of these kind of engineering managers that they're seeing, you know, talent from the US prepared to move to Singapore, kind of sight and seen almost. And you've got, you know, people with affiliations to Singapore and Southeast Asia. Maybe they've worked out in Silicon Valley for some time. They want to get out of the, what they call the, the Silicon Valley bubble, mm -hmm. right? Uh, see a different part of the world, see different problems. Uh, and for them, it's a very compelling kind of uh, proposition to move out here. So, so I'm really excited about the talent pool in the next, next yeah. couple of years. You know, one of the things I'm taking away from this is, while it's easy for people to like Southeast Asia and Singapore as a place to live, it's equally important for the right type of engineer to find the quality of work that keeps them motivated. Exactly. And I feel like you guys are doing a fantastic job of creating those types of opportunities for engineers all over the world yeah. uh, to find exciting work to do in Singapore. Yeah, that's exactly what we're, we set out to do and we're very excited about uh, what's going on in this part of the world. Cool, man. I'm, I'm excited for you guys. I think the next couple of years. Will be